our Rebbe is Hamelik HaMashiach. He's also Goaleinu. Because the namesake of our Mashiach came back from the Golas and built the base Hamikdash. His name was Yeshua ben Yehosedach, the grandson of Sarayah, who was executed by the Babylonian king. And then there was the Golas, and Sarayah's son died, but his grandson came back. And he rebuilt the Beis Hamikdash. And this was to show that the Golas of Sin was going to come to an end, especially through his namesake. The name target being Moshiach. Hine ish tzemach shamo. Barachot in the Jerusalem Talmud makes this clear. But your avonot have separated you in Eloheichem, and your hatot have concealed his face from you that he will not hear. Yeshayahu, chapter 59, verse 2. And so that's why we come to the 53rd chapter of Isaiah, which is about a temura, an exchange. What happened was he gave us his righteousness, my righteous servant, my tzaddik avdi, will make many righteous. He will justify many. So he will give us his righteousness but we will give him our sin. And like a uh, Sayer Laazazel, he will carry Nasa. He will carry uh, Leviticus 16, 22. Like the Yom Kippur scapegoat carried, he will carry the sin of many. So he carried away our sins but he gave us his righteousness. And this is like Boaz, who came as the Goel, and he gave Elimelech and Malone new life by bringing into the world a child who would be a progenitor of Mashiach through Dovid the king. He did this for Elimelech. And vicariously, Elimelech stood up alive from the dead and received his uh, unredeemed, his, uh, his unredeemed inheritance. And he did this as a free gift from God, not something that he merited by doing mitzvahs because he was a sinner and he died in Moab in an unclean land. But God raised him up vicariously through his goal, just as we have been raised up. On the third day, Hashem will raise us up through our goel, which he did. Now, I want you to look at this. If you read Yiddish, you can read what's on the right. I'm going to kind of skim through what's on the left. The Oibishter loves you and has a wonderful plan for your life. Um, we're talking now about the Creator. Every person is sinful from Het Kadmon. There is now between us and our Beshefer a great Tahom, a great Chasm, a great Abyss, a great Golas without any bridge. 
It is the sin of my nature. This means the het kadmon fall in me. Adam, fallen Adam, is in me. And then uh, the arrows show that between Hashem, uh, Ha'elokim, Hakodesh, and sinful man, there stands this golas. And although the goal of the Havrusashaft fellowship with the Beshefer uh, is life, man is sinful and separated. Thus he cannot know and experience the Beshefer's love and the plan that the Beshefer has for his, for his life. And people try to go after this closeness and this personal knowledge of Hashem uh, through ethics, philosophy, mitzvahs. But we are all as an unclean thing and all our righteousness, all our merits are as filthy rags. Yeshayahu 64.6 The Kippurah and my Temurah substitute the Mushiach ben Dovid is the only provision of the Oibishter for the sin and Averos of mankind through him. You can have the experience of the love of Hashem and know the plan of your life, the, the plan that God has for you. So the Beshefer is holy and mankind is sinful. And there's a Golas that makes a great divide. And mankind is trying to bridge this gulf. However, the Orbister himself has made a bridge for us. He sent the Zunfunder Orbister and named him in advance Yeshua. See uh, Zechariah or Zechariah chapter 3, verse 8, chapter 6, verses 11 and 12, Ezra 3 8. A sign of redemption, a sign man of the coming Redeemer. The Malik. The angel had given him the name Yeshua, which the same name or namesake Zahariah had indicated already a name given 500 years prior. Uh, and this is Yeshua or Yeshua ben Yehosadak, the namesake of Yeshua ben Dovid, who is the Kohen Le'olam Aldivri T. Melchizedek Adon, Ha Adon, whom you seek. Uh, Psalm 110. And I will pour upon the base Dovid and upon the inhabitants of Yerushalayim the Ruach of Hin and Tahanunim, and they shall look upon me whom they have pierced, and they shall mourn for him. Ben Dovid, whose base shall be like Elohim, as one mourns for his. Yahid, and shall grieve in bitterness for him, as one that is in bitterness for his Behor. Hine, say Hayelokim, you know, the lamb that died on Pesach. This is my substitute. This is my Kippurah. This one goes to death. I go to life. Now, the 27th of this month is Yom Kippur. But we need to realize that cursed is everyone that consents not in all that stands written in the Sefer Torah to do it. But he took our curse because curse is everyone who's hanged on a tree. And he is our, our Savior. Yet it pleased Hashem to bruise him. He hath put him to suffering when thou shalt make his nephesh and Hashem offering for sin. He shall see Zerah. He shall prolong his days. And the Hephets Hashem shall prosper in his hand. He shall see of the travail of his nephesh and shall be satisfied. By knowledge, by knowledge of him, Moshiach shall uh, my my. Uh, Tzadik Avdi shall justify many, for he shall bear their own. 
So Hashem would be unjust not to pay the paymaster's bill in the day of reckoning. It is not right the paymaster to withhold earnings on payday and the earnings, the wages of sin, is death. So in just mercy, Moshiach paid our debt. His death was our death. He carried away our sin in his body on the boim. He is our bridge to Hashem. He is our way back from the Golis. His namesake, Yeshua ben Yehotzedak, shows this, how he restored the Kippurah after the Golis. And the Oibishter has not changed his blood atonement demand, Leviticus 17.11, but since the Hurban, he has satisfied his demand for blood Kippurah from a later source because David said, let the plague fall upon me and on my house. And Moshiach is the son of David through Yosef bin Shlomo bin David and Miriam, but Eli bin Natan bin David. So he's the descendant of David. He's born in Bethlehem. The, uh, the three friends of Daniel will not palach the idols of Nebuchadnezzar, but all people, including the three the free friends of David, will palach the Baranosh when he comes to the Atik Yomin. And therefore, as we know, the word palach means to serve as deity. So Rashi says that the Baranosh is Messiah, and Daniel says he is Elohut. And he was prophesied to stand up alive from the dead ones. Uh, Yeshayahu 53, verses 10 to 12. Psalm 16, verses 9 to 10. He did not see Shahat. He came before the destruction of the second temple. Daniel 9, 24 to 27. His name is Yeshua. Uh, he was prophesied as that name, the name of portent, see Zechariah 3, 8, Zechariah 6, 11, and 12, Revelation 22, 16 in the Orthodox Jewish Bible. Now, this part is about Mechabel Moshiach. We must receive him as goal redeemer in Adonainu. We must invite him in. We must receive him. He's speaking to us. He says, I stand at the door. I knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, confessing that he is a sinner and needs a savior, a goal, that he is an Elimelech and needs to stand up vicariously through Elimelech as justified. Uh, Isaiah 53 verses 10 to 12. Indeed, he says, I will come to him. If we have faith, we can get the self off the throne and we can put Moshiach on the throne. So self has to, to abnicate, abnicate the, the throne. And Moshiach has to take the throne of the life. Is there any good reason why you wouldn't want to receive Moshiach right now? Not a Moshiach Sheker buried and moldering in the grave, but a living Moshiach. Adonai Kol Haaretz. Forgive my sins. I open the door of my life and receive you as my goal, Redeemer, and Adonainu. Take control of the throne of my life. Make me the kind of person you want me to be. Thank you for coming into my life and for hearing my prayer. Did you receive him? Do you believe that he is telling you the truth when he says he will come in if you ask him to? 
Don't rely upon your feelings. There are facts. There's imuna, And then at the end, there are feelings. A train will run with or without the passenger car. However, it would be useless to attempt to pull the train by the passenger car. As in the same way as believers, we do not hang on feelings or emotions, but we rely on our faith. We we rely on our faith in the trustworthiness of the Oibister and the Zunfunder Oibister. And if the Holy Spirit is convicting of us of our sins, and we're asking Mashiach to take the throne that he deserves, to take the crown that he deserves, then the purpose of life, which is to have Havrushashaft with the Beshefer, will be found to be fulfilled as God's plan for our life. Hashem will put us in a Kehla or a Havrusa for Teshuva Mikvah and for Mashiach's Tish, because where two or three gather in his name, there he is. So if you will Google Phil Goble and look at the various things, you will find a Yiddish English for spiritual laws on the bio page afii.org forward slash capital B I O dot HTML. And may God bless you.